I have daily practices that are my way of connecting to myself. The first is karakia. Every morning I wake up and I karakia to the day and set my, I suppose, pathway free of all obstacles. And then I meditate, I meditate anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes. If I need it a lot, I meditate for longer. Uh, and then the third is I've actually got this way. I've had my bag with me and I thought I'd show it. I have a, my journal. I've actually got two it. journals. Yes. And in my journal, if I could share what I do there, I, I divide it a, 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 a circle into four quadrants and I write what I've done the day before as a way of just uh, reflecting on the hawora mahi I did, the te whare tapawha work, what did I do for my body yesterday, for my mind, for my spirit, and how did I connect with people. That connection with values is a really beautiful way to connect with self. Because the reality is that we are more fulfilled when we understand what matters to us and we connect with that. The reconnection is sometimes that your first instinct is like, oh, I've been here in lockdowns and it's kind of nice to just hide in my cave. And and that's okay. We do we do those things. That's a, it's okay to to miss it sometimes or have a first reaction that's maybe not your favorite reaction. Like you're not proud of it, but to then make amends, that's the that's part of the reconnection. I think that's the same when you forget an anniversary or you don't call <laughs> someone for a while or you do this other thing and you go, okay, yeah, yeah, all right, I've got to I've got to lift my socks up here and, and do a bit better. What are you connected to? Like, if you can just do a big brain dump or even sit with someone and actually look at where are you like literally connected and energetically connected and then go, what is serving you right now? And what is not? Like, where can you disconnect? What can I do physically in this moment to reconnect to myself? And 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 it's this nuanced ability to focus on connection, but meet the moment for what it is. I actually, um, there's a saying, um, it is what it is as it is. So how can you meet the moment for what it is as it is, while still having an influence over how you want that moment to be? And I think in the physical, it's like, when we move, the energy just moves through us. Like, it's just keep it simple. It's like, what would give me some fun? Like, can I just bounce in that somatic energy? Can I put some music on for 30 seconds to just shift my mindset? Who can who can I connect with that brings me joy? I'm going to walk my dog, Rocket, uh, because I've been really busy lately. I've just got back from the UK. I haven't been home much. Um, so it's been 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 three or four weeks since I've walked my dog Rocket, a miniature snouter who's kept very quiet actually, up the fire break over the Wainui Mata Hills here, um, and then back down through the bush, um, which gives me a fantastic view out across Wellington when I get to the top and the bush on the way back down. Um, a great way to reconnect, no phone, two hours round trip. Um, and that's that's my way of that's my way of reconnecting. I can't wait to do it. I um, yeah, I've got a fitness trainer called Sean, who's um, you know an amazing trainer. He's also vegan. He's you know all into the health stuff. And he was talking to me the other day about how we've forgotten. And I say this, you know, God made feet and the Italian made shoes. <laughs> <laughs> But I, I, I haven't, he, he, I forgot that I used to be able to run, you know, anywhere in bare feet. And now I really struggle to even walk down the road if it's, there's some, some pebbles there. So um, I'm going to reconnect barefooted around the park when I walk my dog. So 